Marsabit, a land of contrast, where verdant hills meet the vast expanse of the desert. But beneath the stunning scenery lies a history of conflict that has ravaged the communities inhabiting the county for decades. Marsabit County experienced conflicts many years and also conflict took different forms. People gave different reasons why there's conflict in Marsabit. So some of the reasons were political instigation, resource-based, or people or revenge, negative ethnicity, so and so on. 1998 was the time when actively communities started fighting, especially between Gabra and Rendile, Boran and Rendile, and all this. As time kept on moving, uh, it takes different shape and different dimension and different intensity and also magnitude. As a result of the Gabra Borana conflict, there was a, a mass killing, the Torbi massacre that happened, the killings, uh, keto raiding, uh, targeted killings. After the Torbi massacre now, uh, there's a lot of series of happening in between. Animosity keep on growing and uh, uh, that was what, what culminated into a loss of all the leadership in this county, including MPs and security personnel and also religious leaders. I remember all the honorable members of parliament from Marsabit and others even as far as Nakuru, the then uh, internal security minister, minister Mirugi Kariuki, Dr. Bonaya Godana, Abdisa Asura, Dr. Guracha Galgalo, the late Ngoyoni, and all of them perished here, plus several other Kenyans. While they are uh, en route to Marsabit to look for peace uh, and, and, and tranquility in Marsabit County. In recent times, the conflict in Marsabit reached new heights of devastation. The very fabric of this land was tested as Gabra and Borana communities turned against each other, succumbing to vicious circle that had plagued them for far too long. The last two, three years, there has been a conflict of its kind between the Gabra and the uh, Borana community. And uh, it really uh, escalated to very high points where uh, people could be killed on, in broad daylight in town, regardless of uh, whether they are men, women or youth, any, anybody could fall victim. Everyone was a target. Children are not spared, women are not spared, elderly are not spared. As long as you subscribe to either Borana or Gabra community, then you are a target of a murder. Schools were shut down, health facilities were shut down. Basically, everything was polarized in Marsabit. That situation culminated into IDPs. So many people were moved from their farms. So many people were moved from their homes. I was displaced and I'm homeless. I'm psychologically, I'm very much affected. Tulichomewa kila kitu. Atuna chochote. Saizi tunansia zero. Zero from zero. We have nothing. In the face of this devastation, recognizing the urgent need for peace, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission and Interpeace, with funding support from European Union and the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, stepped in to silence the guns and stabilize the situation in Marsabit County. The peace building intervention began with the collective identification of the challenges to peace through participatory action research, grassroots dialogues, and subsequent signing of intra and intercommunal agreements that committed the warring groups to cede hostilities in agree to an unconditional ceasefire. When we started the program, uh, we started with a a number of events, of course, uh, including uh, community engagement, uh, deeper research, community talking to communities, going to kraals and people in their in, in the fora where they are looking after their animals. Uh, so we have been able to engage a wide spectrum of community at the grassroots. We are also able to engage the Peace Actors Forum and other organizations that have been able to do peace work here in, in uh, the Marsabit. Uh, we engage the government, 
And in all this, we made sure that there's what you call track six approach, you know, engaging the top leadership, engaging the civil society and everyone, and engaging the grassroots. The approach of uh, Interpeace was uh, very inclusive, as in minority communities were included in the process, women were in the process, youths were in the process. It was all inclusive, which also gave people hope. And uh, under the umbrella of Interpeace, other partners also came in. From election of last year until this time for some a period of eight to nine months, we have relatively experienced calm between the two communities. We were involved in that conflict and we are living today. We give a testimony that we really saw and we really understood. Today, it's completely different between the two communities. They could sit together, they could dialogue together, they could agree together, they could return lost animals, stray animals, animals that have gone astray on the other side without any issue, without any problem. In the grazing areas, people have integrated, you know, we have gabras and boronas grazing in the same field now, and like before when they cannot see eye to eye. <laughs> The conflict situation in Marsabit has significantly stabilized but the peace remains fragile. Sustaining peace requires continuous support. The Tamalta's history of Marsabit reminds us that peace is not a destination, rather it is an ongoing and evolving endeavor. But when we say peace on one side, it's still on the other side, there is something going on. Before it is Boran and Gabra, these people are now the, 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 the conflict are stabilized. But on this side, things are going on. Yesterday, two people were killed. The other week, there were people who were killed on the way in a pro box. A mother was killed. A watchman was killed in town. An old man was killed somewhere. So, when the right hand side Peace is stabilizing. On the left, something is going on. While we appreciate that there is a calm, there is peace, there is free movement, there is joint action by the communities, like herding together, attending each other's welfare events, such as burial, wedding, and the rest, the situation is still fluid. We still have a long way to go, because peace is not a one-time event, it is a process. It also requires time to heal. We need to rebuild the, 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 the community because the impact has been huge. This is a, a county which has been affected by drought and then with multiple calamities. In fact, from drought to ethnic conflict to COVID to locust, and uh, this community are really drained. Most of them have lost their livelihood. Most of them have lost uh, the animals, all the animals they had. And uh, this looks uh, for uh, an intervention towards this. Many people have lost their uh, dear ones. Many have lost their property. All these scars left behind are still so fresh in people's mind. To maintain hope and to ensure that hope will be there and they should not lose hope in, in themselves and hope in God, try to do some recovery and resilience building programs. To reverse the issue that had been happening since time immemorial, we really need a lot of efforts and you really need a long-term program that we're going to uh, put in place. For example, uh, the activities that is geared towards proper reconciliation. Because if you have people whose family members have been killed, livestock lost, they are vulnerable. They have been uprooted from how their households. I mean, their 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 their. I mean, their houses, their villages. They have been doing farmings. They don't they don't do that those farmings anymore because they have left their homes. So these people still have a lot of 
trauma, their hearts are aching. Peace building is not just a eat and run exercise. It's also not a jump start exercise too. Peace building, it should be continuous. Peace should be built and building is continuous. For that peace to be sustainable, for that peace to be felt, for that peace to be seen, for that peace to be evident in the lives of the people as far as that funded program is concerned within that particular community.